Well, the news for Jack's I team is getting results. After our series of stories on squatters, a bill passed unanimously to protect Florida homeowners. Our investigation exposed how a loophole in the law allows squatters to live rent free in a home for weeks while the property's owner wasn't allowed on the premises. It gives me a real feeling of positive hope that we still have the ability to discuss challenges in our society and work with our legislatures in a bipartisan way. As the I-teams Ann Maxwell explains, this bill would close that loophole and it's now headed to the governor's desk. I own the house. It's been a year since Patty Peoples found strangers had moved into her rental property. <laughs> Record it. They refused to leave, and it was Peoples who was banned from the premises as the case spent weeks moving through civil court. God. After confrontations... Your police report states this is under investigation. So with that being said, we don't have to leave anything until the police comes back and tell us what would be the decision. I have every decision. right to be in this you, house. You don't have every right to be in the house at, at all. Gym, you do not. And threats. To protect my house, I'm finna bear arms. The women were evicted. Stolen washer dryer. And the house was left with tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage. When people first found those unwanted guests living here, they produced a lease, telling police they were victims of a rental scam. Again, police records show they made the same claim at this nearby house. It took the owners months to evict them. Right around the time, they moved in to People's House. It's just the Wild West. They simply move from one place to another. Now, state lawmakers have passed a bill to put a stop to it. The bill allows law enforcement to immediately remove squatters who do not have a lease authorized by the property owner. It also adds criminal penalties, designating intentionally presenting a fraudulent lease as a misdemeanor and making it a felony to intentionally sell or lease someone else's property or cause damage like this while squatting or trespassing. The women who made themselves at home here were never criminally charged. Did you ever think we would be at this place where we are today? Absolutely not. I have never felt more unempowered or hopeless in my life than on March 1st, 2023. This is near property. It was soon after that Peoples first shared her story with the I-team. Later, she was invited to share it on national TV. Chair and members of the committee. And then in Tallahassee. Are you surprised your story has re resonated so widely? Not really. And I'll tell you why. Because at the crux of this issue is just basic unfairness. You know, if we don't have the right to inhabit our own property, then what kind of world are we living in? Ann Maxwell, Channel 4, The Local Station.